Hi everyone, Animal Girl here, back with another edition of TV Talk. It's Star Wars Day, and this week's episode of The Clone Wars was... Deception. Upon hearing, or learning that bounty hunter Chad Bain is planning an attack on Chancellor Palpatine, Obi-Wan Kenobi goes undercover in the hopes of infiltrating Cad's group and putting a stop to the assassination attempt. Okay, things I liked about this episode. There was absolutely positively nothing I liked about this episode or the episodes that will subsequently fall, other than the fact that some of my favorite characters are in this episode. And by that, I mean I, I mean Obi-Wan Kenobi, Ahsoka Tano, and Chad Bane. Yes, I do like Chad Bane, um, or Cad Bane, however you say his name. Um, he is one of my favorite bounty hunters in Star Wars. Uh, I actually like him more than I like Boba Fett, and Boba Fett, actually, you have more backstory on him. Um... But other than that, I really didn't like this episode. Now, for those of you out there who did like this particular arc, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I just say I just, I didn't like it. I felt it didn't contribute much to the storyline. It didn't focus on the war. It didn't focus on politics. It was more focusing on the Chancellor and um, the underworld of Star Wars and whatnot. And... I just really didn't care for it. Um, knowing who the Chancellor is, I guess that's kind of why I was like, eh, let, let Cad get him. It'll save us a lot of problems down the line. But again, it, we can't let that happen because we kind of need everything that happens down the line to happen for the original trilogy. It's kind of set in stone. Okay, things I didn't like about this episode. The big issue was the plan for Obi-Wan to go undercover, how he goes undercover, I had major issues with, and this is going to be a spoiler alert, um, he basically fakes his death. And the reason I have the big issues with that is that this happens in front of Anakin. And Anakin already has attachment issues and to a degree, abandonment issues as well. And this is a well-known fact among the Jedi as a whole. Anakin has issues with attachment. That was one of the reasons he was assigned Ahsoka, was to teach him to learn to let go of people he grows to care about. And yet they don't even bother to tell him, look, Obi-Wan's not dead. He's faking his own death. He will be back hopefully, uh, and whatnot, it will, it probably, in my opinion, would have saved them some issues later down the line. Um, again, you know, they sent Obi-Wan undercover, why not let Anakin do the same thing, fake his death and go undercover with Obi-Wan, and Ahsoka also, um, you know, two Jedi and a Padawan learner undercover in Cad Bane's group would be able to accomplish this much faster than one, in my opinion, so I, I really felt there was some flaws in the plan um in retrospect and you'll see what i mean when we talk in subsequent episodes um down the line that i attach this episode in the next two or three episodes okay now normally this is where i would ask the question of the week but due to the fact that there was a lack of interest on question of the week on the question of the week segment i've decided to forego that uh if you would like me to continue with question of the week bring it back um, you can let me know in the comment section, but as of now, um, the question of the week segment has been suspended. Um, but feel free to leave your comments or questions in the comment section. I do love to read those, and I will try to answer as many questions as I can. Um, please note that if I don't get back to you right away with an answer to your question, um, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm not going to answer it. It just means that I just can't get to it at that point in time. I do work. I do have other projects. Um, you also have to take into consideration that um, the time difference between where you are and where I am comes into play as well. Um, just because it's 7 a.m. where you are watching this video doesn't mean that I'm awake. Uh, it could be midnight where I am. Um, it, so, and I could, I could be asleep. Um, I could be at work. 
um, it, um, so, um, just because I don't get to answer the question right away doesn't mean I won't get to it. It just means I haven't gotten to it yet. So just be patient and don't, um, be like, well, you, you haven't answered my questions. I'll get to it. Um, so, um, just please keep that in mind. Um, feel free to, um, please like and share this video if you're watching on Facebook or like and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. And feel free to follow me on Wattpad, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, and DeviantArt. I do have my name for those five sites right there on the screen, as well as the pictures I use for the icons. I will also have the link in the description section as well. Please note, all pictures seen within this video belong to their respected artists. I own absolutely nothing. Okay, quick reminder on my comment rules. Okay, feel free to check out my related videos. my other Star Wars um, TV talk videos. My other TV talk videos. and my other videos.
Okay, before I start off a few things I'd like to touch on, this first one is for my YouTube subscribers, and that is that, um, basically all my videos are going to be posted both to and from my Facebook page, um, but if you'd like to check out any of the backlogged videos, particularly of TV Talk, that are not on YouTube, you can check them out on my Facebook page, the link will be in the description section. Okay, this one is for my Facebook friends, and that is that all of my older videos are on YouTube. Uh, if you'd like to check out any of them, you can feel free to check them out on my YouTube channel. I will have the link in the description section. Um, also, for both um, Facebook and YouTube, um, if you have any problems um, getting to either Facebook or U my Facebook page or my YouTube channel or my pages on the other five sites that I have the links to, um, please let me know in the comment section so I can try and fix that for you guys. Okay, also, um, I would like to apologize for not posting a video for a while. Um, unfortunately, I had a lot of other projects that were kind of demanding my attention, and I was focusing on them. Uh, hopefully, I will not fall behind again, but can't make any promises, so if I do, I apologize in advance. Lastly, we are coming to the end of the TV talk videos on Game of Thrones, or at least we're coming to the point where I'm going to have to put them on hold. So, that will leave an opening for a new TV talk, a new series to take its place on TV talk for Monday, and I would just like to know what you guys would like me to do. So, your choices for for TV shows are Fruit Baskets, or Fruits Basket, Superman the Animated Series, Batman the Animated Series, and Gargoyles. Um, please cast your votes in the comment section. Just write whichever one you want me to um, do a review on, and whichever one gets the most votes is the one I will do. Um, a couple of things, though. First off, voting will be up until April 29th, so I'm giving you little over a month, little um, maybe a little over two months, possibly, almost three months to get your votes in on that aspect. Um, however, if for whatever reason I have to push the date back, I will give you a heads up. And that would really only happen if for whatever reason I can't get a Game of Thrones video out for that particular week, um, then I will push the date back. It won't be because, oh, well, I feel like pushing the date back. No, it'll, it'll be mostly because, hey, I can't, I, I did not get a Game of Thrones video out, so you're getting an extra week. You're, you're already getting an extra week because the original, um, poll closing date was the 29th, so I'm giving you an extra week here because I didn't get, uh, Game of Thrones video out last week. Um, Secondly, you can vote as many times as you wish. Um, if you want to write down Superman in five separate comments on a particular video, you can write Superman down on five, for five, five separate times in the comment section. Um, if somebody writes um, Superman down and um, you write it down but you decide, oh, hey, yeah, I like the comment they wrote for Superman on here, like um, Superman because he's just a really cool hero, you can like or love that comment, and I will count that as a vote as well. I will not count dislikes as votes. I will, like, not take away a dislike, take away a vote for a TV show because it got a dislike in the comment section. Um, so do keep that in mind. I'm not saying you can't dislike somebody's comment in my comment section. I'm just saying I'm not going to count that as a vote. I'm only going to count the likes and the loves as a vote in addition to you writing it down. Lastly, in the event of a, tie, of a tie or absolutely no votes whatsoever, I will have the final say. So, please make your voices known and cast your votes for whichever one, whichever one of these four shows you'd like me to do a review on. Okay, as always, thank you for watching, and may the Force be with you.